Welcome back to Extra. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Thank you. We love seeing you guys. And as I said, I can just tell by your body language that you <laughs> tell me. Yeah. You went on the show to find love. Yes. Did you find love? I did. I'm a very, very lucky man, and I left very happy, and I continue. I'm happy every single day with her. Mm. You yeah. guys are so cute. What has life been like since the finale and since coming out and professing your love for each other to the world? It's been different. Um, a lot different. Yeah, yeah. I think just through different parts of the show, whether it was airing, whether it was before I left, like there's just different challenges, and um, after the show, there's there's no difference in that. I mean, it's just it's been it's been tough, sort of adjusting uh, to this new normal, and we'll figure out if it slows down or not. But we're just trying to manage our time and manage our relationship, um, not only with yeah. each other but with our families too. We've got a lot going on. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so it's not just each other and your families, but like the entire world? <clears throat> yeah, just like we have so many new engagements and a new relationship and then family and I have school and... There's a lot. There's a lot on our plates. So we're So we're just trying to figure out how to manage so, it all. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, we're it's doing it good. together. Yeah. We're like, okay, lots of change. We're adjusting, but at least we're doing well adjusting together. Yeah. Well, the interest... The interest in your relationship has not died down one bit. We still want to know everything about you, including what happens from here. Are you planning a future? Or is there going to be a wedding? You yeah. Know, I have, I'm curious. <laughs> I, think, I think right now um, we're both on the same page where I don't, we don't just casually date. We're dating for intent and we're dating for the intent of getting engaged and getting married one day. Um, we just are also enjoying this part of our lives where we are just dating. Uh, and I think there's a lot of pressures, and I fell into that trap too, of coming right off the show and going into defense mode of defending your relationship because you didn't leave engaged. And I think that's that's one thing that early on I made the mistake of just being like, oh no, but we will get engaged. What we will like, I went into automatic defense mode, and like, there's nothing wrong with saying like we we're enjoying dating right now. Like yeah, we're like a boyfriend no girlfriend. There's no timeline or anything yeah. on schedule, but we definitely talk about it. <laughs> You know, that's one of the things I think why people fell in love with you individually and as a couple is that you did this show, right? But you're doing it in your way. Yeah. And yeah. you bring this sort of, you know, uniqueness and, and authenticity. Yeah. And I it. think we're like finally getting to the phase. Like at first, the show is like made for engagement and this. And so there's all this pressure like, I need to know, I need to have it planned out. But then we're finally realizing that we can take the pressure off ourselves. We don't have to be perfectly planned out all the time with everything. Yeah, I think that, and that's the one thing that was cool about watching Trista's season on Tubi is that you could see how different it was back then, but at the core, it's all about finding love in her journey and how she went about doing that. And that's what's so special about the Bachelor franchise is everybody could bring their own twist to it. Um, as long as you stay true to yourself and you, you're there to find love, then it works. Yeah. Okay, so now the Bachelor is on Tubi. You yeah. can go back and rewatch all their favorite episodes. You mentioned yep. Trista. Is there an episode or is there a season that uh, you love particularly? Um, I don't, I mean, mine. <laughs> 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 My season, because it ended with a happy ending for me. So, uh, yeah. I'm excited to go watch the older seasons and just see how much everything's changed and watch all of Trista and Ryan's seasons. Because they were such nice people. It's going to be so... Yeah. To watch them you definitely see like how the budget grew. You definitely could see the production <laughs> yeah. of things have 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 definitely gone up. Um, but like I said, the core principle, like what makes the show the show and so successful and polarizing and America's guilty pleasure, is it's real people there putting themselves out there and being yeah. vulnerable and finding love. Yeah. Now, if we were to go back and watch your season, right? What would you? Is there a moment that you're like, let's just edit that one out, or a moment that you sort of. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. I mean, that, there's so, I have, I could have done things so much better and I could have done things differently probably in every episode, but it's led me here and it's led me into who I am today. So I don't want to like, I don't want to be like, oh, I, I would do that different. Um, I think like the one thing that I'm, if I, not to contradict myself, but the one thing I might like scream a little deeper coming off of like the skydiving and the bungee jump. It was a little high pitched. No, I don't change that part. I love that. It was so she funny. She just replays it over and over like, and just reminds me that rewind, I scream like a little girl. <laughs> but That's yeah. Now nah, everyone's going to go. <laughs> so, so. Check it out. So tell me, where, how is life today? I know that you were together dating with the intent of yeah. hopefully getting engaged, uh, married, and you're in school. Where are you living and sort of what's the day to day? Yeah. 
We're both in LA right now, and I mean, we're literally together every single day, whether it's flying to New York or um, I don't know. Stagecoach. Stagecoach. Yeah. We went to like Aspen. I mean, like, we're just. We're enjoying our time together, and I, it just, I know I've, I've had a house out there for three months now, and I think I've spent 10 nights in my, in I my know. house. I know. So, like, we've just been on the road. Uh, but yeah, we're still, we're just adjusting to the Honestly, new normal. Honestly, though. We're trying to figure it out. Yeah. It's, we've been so busy, but I feel so lucky to have been busy with you. Like, if it was just yeah. me and I didn't have you, I'd probably be going even more crazy than it's, I am. <laughs> it's really cool to do it with your girlfriend, but it's like, it's a little more special to do it with, like, I can, she's my best friend. Like, yeah. so it's, we just have so much fun together, and I think, like, our, like, the moment, we make the most out of, like, the little moments that we get. Um, yeah. And, in normalcy, I mean, and we it's, always it's been awesome. are a mess. But it's we embrace it. entertaining to us. We embrace We're it. We're like, okay. <laughs> What's it like for you going back and watching his various episodes and escapades on this show? Uh, like Bachelor in Paradise mm -hmm. and stuff. <laughs> I actually, Bachelor in Paradise, his season was kind of when I first really watched Bachelor all the way through. And I followed it very closely so I could really get to know Colton before I came on. <laughs> But um, it's definitely, I haven't gone back and watched since I met him. I wonder how I would, like, view everything. Yeah, I to be honest with you, I haven't even finished my own season of Bachelor in Paradise. I, I yeah. started to stop watching. It's kind of hard watching yourself. <laughs> it is, yeah, it had, its, it had its challenges, and I think especially that season was, um, it was a tough one for me to go through and even to experience back, so... I haven't finished we should it. Go back I was like, and we watch need to go it. back and watch it together. We should. On Tubi. So. <laughs> On Tubi. Yeah. Exactly. On Tubi. <laughs> well, it led you here, right? So yeah. it's all good. Yep. So it's all good. Um, Hannah B. Yeah. Talk to me about that. Any advice for her? How do you think she's going to do? I mean, her season's almost done filming, I think. Yeah, I think it's almost wrapped. Um, yeah. You know, I, I always get asked that. It's like, do you have any advice for the next Bachelor or Bachelorette? And I even remember going into it talking with you know Ben Higgins and Ari and trying to figure out like you know what should I do everybody goes about it their own way and I think as long as she stays true to herself and she's authentic which I know she is um, I I can't wait I think it's gonna be a very very entertaining season and I, I can't wait to like watch very exciting okay I'm not sure if you guys have heard the news everyone's anxiously waiting for wedding bells for you two take your time yeah uh, but we had a wedding last night in Vegas. I don't know if you heard Sophie oh, Turner. Oh, I saw that. No, I did. I just thought I forgot. Who? Sophie Turner and Joe Jonas, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't know if it was real or not, though. I was like, is this real? Oh, really? They yeah, got they got married. married. In chapel in Vegas. <laughs> Next to an Elvis impersonator, right? Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even see that. I feel so proud of myself for being up to date on this right <laughs> didn't now. Didn't they have the Billboard <laughs> Music Awards? They did immediately it after immediately, immediately after? Immediately after? Oh. That's what I, that's, that was the headline this morning. So yeah. what are your thoughts on Congratulations that? Congratulations to them. Well, good for them for I just know. going about it and doing it. And in whatever way they wanted. Yeah. yeah. I, like, that, I think that's what's so, like, do what makes you happy. Like, you, to, every relationship moves at its own pace, so I'm happy. Congratulations. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. So will I wake up one day, log on to, the, like, you know, people.com, Daily Mail, and see you guys with an Elvis impersonator? Yeah. You might. You never know. I mean, we're sort of... <laughs> We sort of just, we just wing it every of, once in a yeah, while. Yeah, we wing it. <laughs> Pretty spontaneous. Yeah. When that day comes, what are your thoughts on that? What sort of would be your dream wedding? And would it ever be televised? Would you be open to that? Um, you know, we haven't really thought too in depth about it yet. So I don't know. I've like thought about all the different kind of scenarios that we could have. And it's a conversation we'll have. Yeah, I, I think just knowing... Our relationship and our relationship with our families too. We'd we'd want the day yeah. to be shared with our loved ones and um, our close friends. But I don't know. We have we have so much time still left before we really have to pick out certain things for our wedding. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right, to be continued. Yeah, to be continued. One more extra. Hit the subscribe button and the bell. Never miss a video.